everybody. I'm Jake. And I'm Brock. And this is Smart Tech Reviews, brought to you by Smart Deploy, where we provide unbiased, unsponsored reviews of technology aimed at corporate environments. That's right. If sysadmins manage it, we review it. And today we're taking a look at the Kensington SD 5700T docking station. It's a spicy item. That was You did good. That was a good intro. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the show today, everybody. We are going to be reviewing this Kensington dock. Kensington has not bribed us. They've not sent us gift baskets full of chocolate turtles. Though if they will, you know, I'm up for it. I would eat the turtles still if they did, but they didn't. And we're reviewing this just based on, you know, we, we thought in the IT environment, having a docking station is something that is people need on a daily basis. But my question for you, Brock is this. So these things are a few hundred bucks, right? They are. So when you're at work, what are the main reasons that somebody needs a dock? Uh, why would your IT department spend the money on these for end users instead of spending their monthly budget on, uh, you know, maybe an ax throwing uh, uh, excursion? You know, I'm not saying that they shouldn't spend their money on ax throwing instead, but, uh -huh. you know, working from a laptop can be difficult to really be productive. And today it's all about like getting stuff done. Yeah. If you don't have multiple monitors, if you don't have a dedicated keyboard, dedicated mouse, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes the laptop just isn't enough. Sure. Okay. So basically it's, if you're, if you're working with a laptop, that's going to be your main use case. Right. Mostly. Right. Yeah. And so with this guy here, you see, plugging this into your laptop, you're going to get a whole array of extra connectivity. I really like the port set on this docking station. You're looking at four Thunderbolt 4 ports, one being upstream. Uh, you've got some USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports on there. You've got a USB 2.0 on there, which is questionable. You've also got a full size SD card reader in there, which, you know, your photographers, your videographers, things like that are going to love. You've got a dedicated Ethernet port. You've even got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which, you know, old school, but I like it. Yeah, that's actually interesting. So uh, if you were to be using your docking station and you needed two sets of headphones, like you could plug one into your laptop and then one into the dock and then two people could listen. You know, I didn't test that. I don't know. Usually your laptop is going to, you know, focus on one audio source. So you're probably going to run into issues with that. OK, interesting. Um, and so how many HDMI's do we have? Any? We got zero, zero. HDMI's. See, I find that to be a bit of a, a an issue. You know, and that's the thing we got to get used to with these Thunderbolt 4 ports because Thunderbolt 4, you can su support, you know, displays over that uh, connection. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that I still wouldn't like to see HDMI, display port, some of those classic connections yeah. for options, you know? Yeah, because, uh, you know, when I'm editing, I use about eight monitors. And so I'd like to be able to have an array of extra HDMI ports and, dis and mini display and right. display port, which I'm... it's not going to give me that. It's not going to give you the extra monitors that you need. Uh, so that's something to consider. Right. I mean, your monitor support, you're looking at two external displays that this can support 4K, mm -hmm. 60 FPS. So, I mean, you can support a, a decent ecosystem there, but if you don't have those uh, displays that can support uh, Thunderbolt 4, Mm -hmm. then you're going to be relying on dongles, adapters, things like that. So uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, uh, what are the operating systems with which you can use this dock? You've kind of got some options there. Uh, you can support your Windows devices. There's Thunderbolt 4 dedicated devices out there, which are going to just work flawlessly on here. Backward compatibility with Thunderbolt 3 isn't going to be an issue for the most part. You may lose out on some features. It's hard to you know, get exact wording from mm -hmm. Kensington. Um, Mac, you're going to be fine with your Macs. Uh, there is some discrepancy with the original M1 uh, Mac devices. Newer newer M1, M2 devices are probably fine. Uh, and then how's uh, power delivery? So power delivery, you're looking at 90 watts here through that Thunderbolt connection, mm -hmm. which is good, but it's not good enough for a powerful device. If you're looking at a device that has a dedicated graphics card, something that just chews through the power. This mm -hmm. isn't going to do it for you. I did some testing on that. I do have a device with a dedicated graphics card. And even with it plugged in while you're using it, if you're doing something resource intensive, that battery is just going to still drain. 
Mm-hmm. So you know, so if you've Microsoft got... Paint, it's going out the window. <laughs> right. No, yeah. I wouldn't even worry about painting anything on here unless it's with a canvas. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just it's not going to do it. So you're looking at, uh, you know, small and light form factor devices, things that require less than that 90 watt power it can deliver. OK, let's talk about the design. Let's talk about the, the casing and just the, the overall presentation. You know, it's an attractive device. I like it. It's it looks sleek. It would look home on any desk. Mm-hmm. You know, you're dealing with a lot of ports, though. You're dealing with ports in the back. You're dealing with ports in the front. So if you're a cable snob like me, those, you know, those cables can start, you know, drowning your desk. So that's true. It is. It isn't too heavy. It's pretty lightweight and it is shiny. And it's right. always nice to have more shiny devices. Yeah, it does seem like they're using really good materials here. Uh, I did read some issues that people were having saying that there were some capacitor is- issues, but I didn't experience it and I haven't heard of anyone actually having that issue. So really? take that for what it is. Yeah, this was just some online comments I read that people had a specific issue with it. But again, I haven't run into it. So your flux capacitor may fail you if you try you to... You might not be time traveling with it. If you try to initiate time travel, which right. is really actually good to know. So what about just other other features that just th- that Kensington has decided to include. Um, there's a couple really good ones. One, you got your Kensington lock. And with the price of these things being what they are, yeah. that's useful to know that, hey, if I need to lock it down, I can so this thing doesn't get up and walk away. Another great one is it's plug and play. So if you've got, especially if you've got like remote users, you're sending them a docking station, you just want them to be able to plug it in and it just work. Mm-hmm. And honestly, it did. It worked pretty flawlessly. I plugged it in, didn't have any issues. Okay. And uh, that's a big one, especially for that remote crowd. Plug and play is great. Uh, let's go back to Kensington Lock. So what exactly is that? Kensington Lock, you've got uh, a device that can, you can tether to your desk or something, which yeah. you can plug into that Kensington Lock and actually lock it in place so people can't steal it. Oh, well, at least okay. not easily. So it's like a physical lockdown device. Yep. Interesting. Okay. Does it come with a key? Uh, it depends on the lock you buy. Wow. Yeah. So there are different variations of those locks. Security. I like it. All right. And then what about uh, a mount? Does it, is there a mount for it? So there is. And if you're a cable snob like me and you like to get those things tucked away, a mount is a big plus for me. You, you can mount it to your desk. You can mount it to a monitor arm. There is quite a few pe- uh, features on there, but Again, this is a separate purchase you're looking at, so okay. keep that in mind. Great. That kind of covers the features, that kind of covers what you get with this thing. So if you're in the IT department and you're thinking, we need a dock, but we only have so much money, what does the price point look on this thing? And does it come with a warranty as well? So you're looking at about $370. Um, that price can go up and down slightly. But the thing is, you're not really... It falls in line with the rest of the devices uh, where it's at. You know, other Thunderbolt 4, Thunderbolt 4 port uh, sure. docking stations, you're looking at about that same price range. So okay, does it stand out? Probably, I would say it's probably ahead of the pack on some features. Yeah. But, you know, if, it, if they were able to drop it down even, you know, to 320, 330 range, mm-hmm. I think you're looking at where it's like really stands out and it's ahead of the pack. So it's you're getting the value for that price right okay well actually today when i I don't whenever this releases it might be different but um on amazon it was on sale for like 270 so just watch amazon they might have sales that regularly happen so that's something to consider as well if you want to wait for a sale uh save a hundred bucks on it but that's something yeah again that's right now and you're watching this in the future so (laughs) we didn't talk about the warranty so it does come with a three-year warranty which is great um especially when you're talking about corporate devices you know you need that warranty there just you know your your it department doesn't want to buy something then have to replace it in six months because it doesn't have a warranty sure so three years is kind of that standard which i really appreciate the Mm -hmm. other thing i appreciate is i did have a chance to reach out to kensington support and they were great you know they helped me they answered my questions they were quick so I had no issues there. Kensington support. Good job, Thank guys. Thank you, Mr. Kensington. That you, you're a good one. <laughs> we talked about the price. We talked about what you get with this Kensington dock. At the end of the day, when it comes down to it, and somebody says, "Brock, I'm gonna," you got to give this thing a score out of ten. What are you gonna give it? So this is a tough one for me because I look at it from a user standpoint, and I, I think it's great. I ran into one issue where one of my monitors didn't want to wake up. Sure. And that's pretty common among, among docking stations. 
and I only ran into that issue once out of like several we weeks of use. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty good plus. Okay. The problem that I have is that this docking station can't wake up your laptop if your laptop's turned off. So if you're used to that functionality from your docking station, being able to just reach over, hit the power button on your docking station, turn on your laptop without ever tr opening the lid. So you have to turn on your laptop and then turn on the docking station the, each time? Yes, the docking station does have a dedicated power button. You can just leave it on all the time. But oh, okay. you do have to open up your laptop and turn it on, unless you're one of those heathens that just mm -hmm. leaves their laptop on all the time and just shuts the lid. I am. Then you wouldn't, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't have that issue. No, but I'm for sleep me, mode. Sleep mode is, is my <laughs> usual go-to. Yeah, for me, I'm a good sysadmin. I turn my stuff off. And if I can't, if I have to open up that lid, hit the power button, it's a no-go for me. But that's kind of the, the, the common function between a lot of these Thunderbolt 4 ports is that you're dealing with that you know scenario of you can't turn on your laptop from the docking station itself. Hmm. So I was super disappointed to see that. I mean, from, from my perspective personally, I'm looking at like a six, but okay. I wanna say most people are probably looking more at like a, a seven if okay. they're using this thing, depending, you know, if that's a deal breaker for you or not. So that power on, power off feature, that's that's what hits that extra one off for you? That's that's kind of a deal breaker for me, okay. yeah, because I need that functionality. Okay, and so for my use case, I I think putting it about a 7.5, so I think overall we're gonna average it out to about a seven out of 10 for the Kensington SD5700T. If you want Thunderbolt ports, you got Thunderbolt ports. You got you got Thunderbolts flying at you from every angle. Zeus is back. <laughs> I feel like we've been talking about Thunderbolts a lot lately. Yeah. Cue the lightning. That's a theme. Uh, so that's going to do it for our show today, everybody. Thanks for watching Smart Tech Reviews with Smart Deploy. Uh, if you'd like to like and subscribe to the channel, you should do it. You can get notifications on all of the reviews we're going to be doing with of workplace technology we're going to keep them coming at you we're going to keep these episodes regular so don't forget to uh, hit that notification bell and we'll catch you next time oh and before we go make yeah. sure to leave a comment let us know what you would like to see if you've got any laptop stocking stations anything that you manage in the workplace that you mm -hmm. want us to review let us know. We'll we do want it. to hear from the IT departments. Yes. What what devices do you want to know about? We'll review them. Yep. We'll give you a full, a full deep dive. Yep. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much, guys, for watching. I'm Jake. I'm Brock. 